Zamir, let's start with Shazam. Shazam. And I, and I want you to start because lo and behold, you saw it twice. Yes, I saw it twice. Um, okay, so first of Unexpected all- Unexpected from you. Yes, because I don't usually go see movies twice, but there was something bothering me about this movie. And it has to do with one of the things that I started noticing after I talked my, to my sister about it once I watched the first time. So just right off the bat, I will I will say a, a few things about what I thought about the, this movie. Yeah. So I like this movie overall. In terms of the structure of this movie, it's not the greatest movie. I can acknowledge that. But I I liked it. I liked it not as much as the first one, but I liked the movie overall. There are some criticisms. I I was having a good time. I laughed. I will say that overall, I enjoyed it more than I did Ant Man, and I. Why, even though I had a lot of criticism for that movie, I still had a decent time. I'm so glad you said that because sometimes the movie being okay is good. Exactly. It's you don't, you don't reach right. for the stars. You don't go too far and fail and fall on your face. Yeah. Sometimes a good movie is exactly what we need. Exactly. That's, Continue. that's just it. So what, what, what were my criticisms of this movie? I, you know, honestly... I think I just have a lot of love for the Shazam franchise, so I sometimes when I'm watching it, I can acknowledge that I'm not looking too deeply into certain things. But I will say there were some things that did bother. Me. So, one, well, no, let me start with the positive first. What I okay. loved about this movie, I still overall love the characters. I love the chemistry between um, the older actors, you know, the ones paying in their second form. I think they had great chemistry. I think once again they did it. They showcased their ability to act like children the way children would act in right. the body of adult right two um i overall thought the action was okay uh it had some brutal moments though yeah it, it was it was I, I i saw some people saying that it was bad but like i thought it was it was either serviceable or good at certain moments so yeah. I, I i don't I think, know I, I think the highlight was the dragon fight yes uh that's where shazam really showed who he is exactly but throughout the rest of the movie it's more so like them cleaning up i guess more so than anything yeah yeah, yeah. so less less fighting but he still shows his fight exactly yeah um H helen mirren lucy lou i mean i i you <laughs> you can't ask for better you can't villains. ask for better for, for better villains no. yes they could be kind of generic God damn it! I love these two actresses, especially Lucy Liu, who looks great still. By the way, just she looks like she just came off the set of Charlie's Angels. I I know, right? It's, it's ridiculous, incredible. And um, Helen Mirren, there's there's no need to introduce Helen Mirren. She's a legend. She's incredible. She was incredible in this, and she's incredible in pretty much everything she does. Um, and they weren't mustachy. They had purpose. <laughs> they exactly. were. They 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 truly believed that they were rightfully right claiming thing. what was robbed of them that's exactly. what i really liked the most and there was conflict between the villains exactly so we you know eventually we do get to a point where that conflict rears its head mm -hmm. i like that at that aspect of the movie they weren't just i mean yes you could say they were generic but it would there was more attempt there was an attempt to make them more than what they see mm -hmm. so i appreciate that um but overall like i said i enjoyed the movie but there was there's several things that I want to say about this movie. Yeah. One that definitely bothered me. This is the this is the conclusion I came to the second time I watched. It. Okay. One, there is a a criminal lack of use of the younger Billy Batson act. In this movie specifically, one hundred percent. It was it come on. Asher Angel, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I understand that Zachary Levi is your guy. He's your Shazam. He's your Shazam. But like He's in the movie ninety five percent of the time, but you have this whole other actor who's really getting into his own. Let him act. Maybe this is a personal thing, but come on, you know. Especially because you notice. I don't know if anybody's talked about this, right? When he's Billy Batson, he doesn't act like the, the way Zachary Levi is acting. Zachary Levi is acting the way that you would expect him to act in the first movie. Yeah. The lack, of the, the 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 stark difference of his demeanor and actions between the two actors is jarring and it doesn't work in my opinion he's too much like he was in the first movie to the point where you it does not believable he's acting like a a 14 year old not the 18 year old not the 18 year old that he's supposed to be 
and 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 i agree with you full wholeheartedly on this one the best scenes in shazam one are when billy goes to find his mom and is confronted with his mom that is one of the best scenes, one of the best scenes yeah in the whole movie um real agony real human pain yeah. um at no point i don't know how many times zachary levi says shazam fam and i don't think i saw asher angel say that not once like there's a disconnect there's a disconnect um, and i don't know what it was i thought you know in in some of the promos i thought billy wasn't even in the movie <laughs> i thought it was he was gonna be um shazam the whole time and it, it is weird i don't know what happened there i i, I don't know any yeah, rumors um, there i don't know if if scheduling i don't know what happened there because clearly he's in the movie but just not utilized to his potential oh, and here you know the whole point it you can't take billy out of shazam because then you just have superman that's a, <laughs> you, you just have a whole different character that's superman. the whole point of shazam that he switches back and forth um so i do agree with you there on that point so yeah. what's your so next criticism so, give it to me so i mean also i mean there's pretty much an, un, an underuse of all the younger actors which is understandable to some extent but at the same time like by the time i got to the end of the movie i almost forgot what they looked like i was like oh that's how that he looks like because they, they didn't really use the younger actors till towards the end yeah they uh, most of the time they are in their adult form um and it's tough because that's it i mean i i do this this part i will give them some leeway in terms of logistics you don't have seven characters first of all seven characters already as your main protagonists is pretty hard but really you have 14 or six of them 12 i don't know my <laughs> math is off here yeah that's but, a lot but it's a lot of actors and characters here so i i do think while you're right you're adding like another 20 30 minutes yeah. to a long movie already yeah no i i get i understand why the decision was made i don't follow them too much because uh, you know child actors is much more consistent to get the older actors to do their thing especially since the older actors have great chemistry between yeah, each other no it's tremendous really good um yeah. so it's understandable um also the movie took a long time to make it's been what four years and yeah. the actors grew up so yeah. they're not children anymore 100 percent. um I, I wouldn't say that there's a lot of criticisms for me going forward um uh, another positive i'd like to talk about um also by the way i think jack dylan grazier is oh. uh, a future star he's a star he, i mean i think he's a star right now but no, he's he was the star of the movie he was My, he was uh, the main character was, of it this was movie zachary levi jack dylan grazier 100 exactly. and he was the most consistent child actor he was in the movie like 80 percent of the time 100 and he nailed it i mean that kid is going places i mean I, it's, it's just charming he really is he has great comedic timing i'm gonna say this what this is gonna come to bite me in the ass He's what I think we thought Finn Wolfhard would be. <laughs> I truly, Damn, bro. I truly believe that. Yo, the Stranger Things fans are going to come at you, bro. I I mean, <laughs> and I love Stranger Things, <laughs> but I think in a, in like five years, we're going to see Finn Wolfhard. I, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll see. But I think to your point, Jack Dylan Glazer is going places. He carried a lot of the human storyline mm -hmm. of the film you rooted for him you wanted him to get rachel zegler it was just like my guy you go get it like you just rooted for him the whole time yeah. and and not only that his character is deeply flawed in yes. this movie because he's so hyper focused on being this superhuman which of course freddy of all of all of them yeah is going to be the one that wants to be in the superhuman body of course 100 percent. so it, it makes all the sense in the world but i, I and it's kind of like to the to what i liked about shuri and wakanda forever it's the same reason why i liked his storyline in this movie it's flawed yeah and that's human and that's real yeah so i mean i think that's really like my the the the, the height of my criticisms um also um no no um there was something i wanted to, men to mention with um some of the uh some of the additional actors and actresses god it's, it's slipping my mind 
but I think overall everyone did a pretty good job. Jamon Honsu, I always fuck up his name. As the, I like how they made him a little more comedic this time. Yeah, I love him. Did not understand how he was back. They, they even did, poked they fun didn't at really it. Care. Yeah, it was, was like he's, he's back. back. No, he's back. That's it. He didn't die. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I I do wish we would have explored um the world the not the underworld because I did like that you know one of them was actually keeping track of the doors or what, what's in there what's in there uh, here you know don't go here that was that was cool yeah that was awesome that that aspect of the lair was awesome but the actual location where Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu and Rachel Zegler are I don't even know where that was so it was yeah, like they, they was it Mount be- Olympus was it like what kind of god realm was this I don't know it was odd <laughs> um but I, I really wished we would have explored that a little bit more um transitioning from the first movie where your cgi bads are the seven deadly sins which were perfect yeah scary to this movie i think they did a good job in that regard um i like the fact that we had just nothing but mythical creatures running around that was awesome. um yes. you know the minotaur the harpies the, the uh, cyclops um the unicorns being freaking uh, ghoulish. And, the marketing, and, and, um, the little advertisement thing they did in the middle of it was a little awkward. The Skittles oh, thing. Oh, the Skittles, yeah. Taste it the was, rainbow. It was, it Come was on. 100% an ad. Um, and, and, and another star of the movie, I think that, you know, Mary, um, the only actress that played both the child and the adult oh, yeah, superhero yeah. um because in the first movie she does have an uh, an adult actress play her counterpart but in this movie she plays both characters um hit it out the park for me um i want to see her in more yeah. movies it was pretty good uh, um and you know they even talked about uh, if there was a spin-off of some kind um you know she's absolutely down to continue to play that character i think that's interesting you know the moral compass character but you have the annoying little brother um <laughs> in shazam um i l- l- like you said i enjoyed the movie wholeheartedly fully laughed cried was i thought i don't know if it was better than the second one for me i think it might have been minus like for the first one better than the second one i think this i i think i enjoyed this one more the only thing the only thing that i didn't enjoy was the lack of billy but besides that every other aspect of the movie i liked I did enjoy Zachary Levi in the movie, yeah, but I do see what you mean of the disconnect. It, do, it didn't really make sense, and I think that has part to do with the script, yeah. but here's here's my overall feeling on this whole movie. It's a, it, was, it should have been an alley-oop. It should have been a slam dunk, and somehow, yep, you know where I'm going. Yeah. DC fucked it up again. Yeah. They fucked it up again. And I don't understand. I I I'm I'm honestly to the point where I'm going to have zero faith in DC moving forward. You should. Because how is it that a perfectly marketable movie is doing is doing the worst? It's bombing. Uh, it's bombing. It won't but, even it's not even close to making even. And it's not the worst movie in the DCEU. Oh, definitely, it's better it's than like far from half it. Half your bullshit. Yeah, lineup. it's 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 a perfectly serviceable movie. And it's and it's perfect for kids. Yeah, kids it's perfect for the movie. family. It's perfect for uh, young adults. It's it, it it hits every demo. Yeah. Why aren't we marketing this movie as it should? You know, and then now then you know my my main enemy number one on this show for me. The Rock, <laughs> yet again. I've been hearing a lot about that. It was uh, his fault. Listen, so at the end, uh, and this will be spoilers. There's an end credit scene, which the end credit scene was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the Justice the, Avengers or the, the peacemaker the, character. It, it was just it was, it, it was so funny. But yes, you have Economos and um, in uh, Hawthorne? I don't Hawthorne. Yeah, I think it's her name, uh, Jennifer Holland. Um, approach um, Shazam to join 
the justice he immediately says yep yep no i'm down yep because <laughs> throughout the whole movie he's obsessed with wonder woman duh why wouldn't you be yeah. uh, if you're in the real world of 100 percent makes sense tracks i'm on board and he <laughs> said and they're like perfect yes thank you for joining the justice society he's like hold on hold on, hold on. Justice society but justice league but the same but different he literally called out everything of what we think and it all made sense and then come to find out because of the rock it shouldn't have been those two characters it should have been hawkman and cyclone yes i heard that why is the rock Dick still Haiti. making these type of decisions how easy would it have been to fix that that's that that is a simple reshoot that is not hard it was three characters why are uh, i don't understand i i truly don't if you're going to and 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 it looks like james gunn is saying that these four movies that are coming out this year that are pre his production and, and peter saffron's production which peter saffron was involved in this movie mm. so if shazam and the flash and blue beetle and aquaman 2 all coincide with this new chapter one of the dc universe moving forward why why are we making these dumb decisions why i don't understand i i i truly don't understand how we've let one actor dictate a you know it's one thing for to give dc to snyder he's a visionary whether you agree with the vision or not yeah he is a visionary he is a director he is not the main focus he's putting a, a a whole universe together we're talking about giving it to one actor and it's not even somebody whose first craft is acting not to say that you know your second he's craft bad, but like not to say that you know people who act later in life aren't successful in it or 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 worthy of it yeah and actors can be directed but we're talking about the rock the guy yeah. known for working out like what are we talking about yeah. here and he's no writer he's no he's no director and i've never I've known seen. him to be this big dc guy that knows everything yeah. like a like a gun like a snyder like a jeff johns like what are we talking about here he still continues to dictate these movies and i have full faith that that is the reason why this movie is failing because this movie shouldn't fail didn't Zachary this movie, Levi just come out with a bunch of stuff saying about? Yes. Yeah. And I'm glad he's being vocal. Yeah. I'm glad he's, he's being really, very vocal. He's come out with a few videos. And he's also, you know, he's come at Marvel too. Yeah. Because he, you know, he 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 let it be known that when he came to being in Thor two, um, he originally auditioned for Captain America, didn't get it. I mean, like, who didn't audition for Captain America? I think twelve <laughs> guys auditioned for captain america at this point wow. um and he didn't get it he was invited to come to thor 2 and he initially declined because he didn't want to be a minor character and he was promised by kevin feige he would have a big role what big role because he just dies in ragnarok and he does not have a big role in <laughs> the dark world i would know because i love that movie but <laughs> You're like one of the few rare one of the few that loves that movie and and fan draw is literally in it for five minutes yeah he's only in at the beginning in the little heist to have him uh, thor and loki escape that is it that is it for fandral and then he dies in like literally a millisecond in, yeah. in ragnarok <laughs> so like if i was zachary levi i'd have a chip on my shoulder too yeah of course i mean he's 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 putting a lot of work a lot of effort a lot of love into this franchise he reminds me of De of ryan reynolds with deadpool yeah you know, Here's there's somebody who it. loves this character, somebody who puts in the effort, um, you know, time and time again, a guy you can root for. I mean, I've never seen I, I, Zachary Levi is a class act by, by all means. Yeah. And he didn't even, you know, bring down anyone, you know, this, the, the black Adam project in, in speaking about it, but you, it's just clear this shouldn't be happening with this character i mean I, I i i'm 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 seriously just so unamused with dc right now they're i mean james gunn and peter Saffron are gonna have to do some type of 360 bout to convince me this is gonna be good because now i'm just like
doubting at all. I think everyone is like waiting to get to the Flash movie. movie to how, Literally. To see how they can possibly like, how are we going to get rid of these characters? What are we going to do? How are we going to start over? Because everyone just wants to get, we're, we're just sort of done with everything that's coming up. With yeah. And it's like, what's the point of these movies? Yeah. Knowing that things are going to change. You know, the movie was enjoyable. Yeah. You have Wonder Woman all over this movie, which I don't hate because I know you don't like Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. Yeah, I like I, Wonder Woman. Yeah. Um, Gal Gadot. Not a good one. Sorry. That's fine. And, 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 and even I can give you that because <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't think she's, you know, a thespian by any means. <laughs> um, but I do enjoy her as the character. I think she did good in the movie. The... You know, having um, um, the wizard's face on her body. That, that was, was hilarious. hilarious. Um, and then that leads me into more of the whole DC scheme. Why would you market that? Why would you put that in the promo a week before the movie comes out? Why would you release that Gal Gadot is in the movie? Not to mention the part that they released in the is movie. Is the actual Gal Gadot. Yes, but... The worst part is that they ruined the sort of emotional payoff yes. or the emotional surprise in the movie. Because you can the see- whole the whole trope is you have the body because of the first movie. Yes, it's a joke. It would have been great. If you told me it was just a, a Wonder Woman body, I'm like, ha, ah, look, they're poking fun of what they couldn't do with the first movie. Mm-hmm. And then you have her actually show up at the end. The theater would have exploded. What are you talking about? Right. If you actually got butts in seats. <laughs> Because they did not get any, but they're not marketing this movie properly. Not at all. They're, they're not. I, I just. I mean, I mean, if you hadn't mentioned it a few times since we, when we were doing the podcast, I would have completely forgotten about it. About the movie coming out, yeah. right? Yeah, we're getting more promo for Flash than Shazam. Yeah, I'm so more trailers for sixty five. Shazam. <laughs> That's crazy. That's that insane. is insane. 